Thank you, thank you, thank you very much. I thought I would start this uh, stand-up comedy routine with, uh, with a joke. They say that you should do this. It's, it's highly recommended. They say don't go over eight minutes. Be funny, be confident. They all do this simple advice. Um, but before I do that, I would like a volunteer from the audience, if somebody wouldn't mind um, being a volunteer. Let's, uh, Whit, Whit Will is, uh, well, well I, 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 I think it's not entirely unreasonable, oh. Will, okay. No, no, I don't need you to stand up, you can, no, uh, take it easy. Uh, no, 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 this is far more simple. All I want you to do is to count how many times people laugh, okay? I'm a, I'm a statistically oriented empirical scientist and I want to gather some data on this matter. And then, um, if you can maintain the attention span for this, <laughs> that's two. Very good. You're 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 working it out. Um, when they get to eight times, can you just give me a signal and tell me they've laughed eight times? Okay, that's 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 what I want. All will be revealed later because this is um, this is science. <laughs> um, so I thought. Uh, actually, they told me don't touch the microphone. Don't touch the microphone. I have to find something to do with my spare hand. Um, <laughs> where was I? Oh, I was going to start with a joke. Yes, the joke. Um, and the temptation here is to plagiarize, is to use somebody else's joke. And I will do that, um, but I will avoid the accusation of plagiarism, like a true academic, uh, by, <laughs> by providing a citation. <laughs> just, like, just like on Wikipedia. Um, actually, I remember when Wikipedia first came out, as academics, we were, uh, we were told, don't let the students use Wikipedia, because Wikipedia is full of unreliable information, and, uh, you know, you keep them away from Wikipedia, it's terrible. Um, but I really like Wikipedia. I actually think Wikipedia is a very good template. They've stopped laughing, but they will laugh again. They, they, <laughs> <laughs> Where are we now? That's eight. That's eight, okay, 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 okay. Well, you see, they told me to speak for eight minutes. Um, so yeah, okay, let's come on to that later. Let's stick with Wikipedia, all right? Because they told me, um, don't tell, let the students use Wikipedia because it's bad information. And I really like Wikipedia because essentially the production line for Wikipedia is very much like regular science. It's peer review. It's crowdsourced information. You provide a citation. If you don't, someone will tell you off. Uh, if you're wrong, people will change the information. So I actually think it's a very good model. So I'm a big fan of Wikipedia. You might even call me a Wikipedophile. <laughs> um, <laughs> no, the, uh, uh, you're not going to count it. Okay, that's good. Actually, we, we didn't discuss operational definitions. Um, you know, if somebody accidentally laughed, you know, or they laughed at something on their phone, uh, that wouldn't have counted. That would have... Uh, that wouldn't have been a justified laugh. But anyway, we, we're, we're okay. We're, we've got the righteous laughs. Um, the joke. I'm going to start with the joke. Where are we time-wise? Um, yeah, the joke is by Dimitri Martin. You know that comedian? Yeah. Uh, he's Chinese. Uh, I read that on Wikipedia. <laughs> and um, uh, he has this joke which says something along the lines of, you have toast and then you have French toast. Have you heard this joke? Uh, you have uh, French toast is much better than toast. You have kissing, and then you have French kissing. And French kissing is better than kissing. So the rule seems to be, if you make something French, you make it better, except for people. Yeah. <laughs> and just like, just like the audiences at Dimitri Martin's show, people like you laugh at that joke which is actually kind of xenophobic <laughs> and, you know, shame on, on, on people. Because, and, and that's the joke, the version that goes around the internet. But actually, there's another piece to the joke because he points out next that, you know, French people are not um, uh, bad. He's not getting at French people there. Uh, French people are not better. They're just not, e everybody's equal. So, so we're not saying they're worse. We're saying they're equal because, you know, that's, that's just the true um, state of affairs. So what that's of interest, where I'm going with this, is because psychologically we have a great tendency to shove things into dichotomous, dichotomous categories. 
So we have this uh, template of cognition called binary opposition. Are you going to wave at me in a moment? No? no? Okay. Uh, binary opposition. Uh, which is, uh, if, you, if, you, if, you, if you divide everything into opposites, everything in the universe, in fact. So if something isn't one thing, it's the opposite of it. So in Dimitri Martin's joke, uh, if, if, you, uh, uh, if, if, you, if it's not good, it must be bad. And this is a strong psychological tendency, either our reasoning, nebular opposition, binary opposition, uh, false dichotomization, false bifurcation. There are lots of names for this in classical philosophy. Um, the Irish uh, apparently are immune to this uh, uh, type of reasoning. Uh, the philosopher Richard Carney uh, said that because Irish people are comfortable with both and instead of either are, that this is to their advantage. And he, he claims that this is because living in Ireland, we, is that a signal? Is that a time signal? Brilliant. Uh, <laughs> living in Ireland, living in Ireland, uh, we have... Um, we have been secluded from the centralized logic of Greco-Roman culture. Um, and he says that uh, essentially um, that we maintain an intellectual ability to hold the traditional opposites of classical reason in creative confluence. <laughs> That's stretching quite a bit. Essentially what he's saying is that we're comfortable with doublespeak, hypocrisy, insincerity, uh, <laughs> bullshit. Uh, essentially we're a nation of bullshitters. <laughs> Uh, but whether you, um, how you feel about all of that depends, I suppose, on whether you uh, uh, believe Richard Carney's theory about the evolution of Irish rationality um, or whether you believe me, because I'm a skeptic of that theory. Or not either of those things, because that would be a false bifurcation. There's a whole spectrum of possibilities in between, so you don't want to fall into that template of reasoning. And, and the reason this is of interest to me is because in science, in null hypothesis significance testing, have you heard of that? <laughs> it's all about testing the null of your hypothesis. And when you have statistical results that support your idea, what you're really doing is rejecting a null hypothesis. And the temptation is to assume that the opposite of the null hypothesis must be true. But in reality, that's not the case at all. And a very quick example, if you have a theory that uh, there's a gender difference in extroversion, the null hypothesis is there isn't a gender difference in extroversion. But if you reject that, you don't know what is actually true. Are men more extroverted? Are women more extroverted? Uh, when you turn 40, do men become more extroverted and women less, and the vice versa when you're below 40? All of these are legitimate alternates to the null hypothesis, but because of false bifurcation and that bias, except for the Irish, uh, you, have, <laughs> you have this risk. It's merely the edifice. We don't have time to go into it now. It's merely the entire edifice of the scientific enterprise of the last 150 years. Um, <laughs> But, but it's, it's based on a dubious uh, foundation. Uh, thank you very much for counting my laughs. Um, by laughing eight times or more in an eight-minute set, um, I can calculate the rate of laughter uh, at being in excess of once per minute. And that's, that's, that's a very good benchmark for stand-up comedy. If you have a laugh-a-minute experience, this is, uh, this, is held to be, this is held to be where we want to be, and you're laughing out loud. So it's laugh out loud as well. So I'm, I'm, I'm really hitting all the KPIs on, on, on this. <laughs> Thank you very much for your time and attention. I'll see you again. Bye-bye. <laughs>